What's going on? Mike Newman here. It's live. It's post pre judging at the IFPA Pro Natural American. Brenda Ray's put on a fine show, and I'm standing here with Paul Ayatomasi. So, Paul, you got uh, your sons in this one. Paul Ayatomasi Jr. is in this show. We're going to wrap it up. We'll talk about the pro men in a second. First, let me wrap up the rest of the show real quick. We had one sole bikini pro, Michelle King. She's, of course, going to win because uh, she's the only one. Uh, she's Looks good. Like looks like she can do well at any show. And we'll find out how she does at the Pro Natural or Pro North American in two weeks in Bloomington, Minnesota. Uh, you got two female bodybuilders here. Mary Benson might take her class there. We'll see. Uh, it could go either way with those two. And then Melissa Johnson. I think it should be unanimous that she wins the Pro Figure class, uh, and she's going to be another one to look for later on down the road this coming year. But uh, let's talk about the pro men real quick, Paul. Okay. You had uh, Chris Wells, who I thought was the favorite coming in. Uh, Raymond Hunter, I've never heard of until today. Right. You got your son, Pilot Tomasi Jr., of course, the rock star Joe Myers, and then Foon's in this show as well. Foon Finalen, or however you say, how do you say his last name? Do you have any idea? Not really sure. Okay, we'll, we'll just say there's only one no, Foon. Yeah, we'll just say one Foon's in the house tonight. But there's right. only five pro men in the show, but they're all five quality elite pro men. So let's talk about what you thought after pre judging. Uh, after pre judging, um, I would have to say, well, they had Raymond in the middle with um, Paul and um, Big Chris Wells maybe yeah. yeah well no Chris um, Foons oh Foon was in there Foon yeah. was okay. in there um, and so I think it, me personally I think it was between Raymond and Paul yeah um, I think Paul's a little bit personally I think he's just a little bit more sweeping yeah uh, but Raymond actually I saw pictures of him before the um, show today and his, his back and his shoulder width was a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be yeah. in live, you know. Right. So so he's pretty impressive. I mean, he's got a lot of muscle. He's kind of compact. Mm -hmm. So I guess it all depends what the judges are looking for. Um, he's got big legs. Um, Paul's, I think, were a, a touch more separated. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, it's hard to say. Um, but then they put Raymond off to the side, so that kind of was an indication that they could have him first. So. Yeah. It's um, possible. Yeah, and then Chris Wells came into the center. They kind of moved some people around. Um, then they moved Paul to the center and put Chris Wells next to him and stuff. So I'm thinking Chris could be maybe third. Yeah. And that's exactly where I have Chris, too. I made the update on the Facebook page, the Inside Natural Bodybuilding Facebook page. I did a full analysis there. Uh, Raymond Hunter came in. He surprised me. i never seen him or heard of him before, but he's got the biggest, thickest legs in the class. And like you said, maybe not the most separated in the condition, but still good enough conditioning to take first place home. Uh, Paul's conditioning was uh, elite, maybe even the best in the class there. Uh, you know, But the, the size and fullness of, of Raymond could pull him ahead in first place. And I think Paul's posing, because I had Chris Wells. He was a favorite of mine. Chris's symmetry was a little off. He's He's got that big upper body. His legs aren't bad, but his upper body is so good that his legs are a little bit smaller than his upper body, so that's going to throw a symmetry off, I think. Did you catch that too? Right, right. And and if he posed a touch different, he could have maybe showed himself a touch better. Um, and, uh, yeah, his upper body is really good. So I'm thinking too, I I'm, I'm kind of agree with you a little bit on that one. Yeah. So um, his, it's not quite as sweeping, and he maybe could have come down a touch more for condition but yeah posing like shoot every every single show i see people place higher or place lower all because they're posing and one of the reasons paul's going to place so high is because of his posing and chris very well could have taken second place if paul's posing wouldn't have been so good as conditioning was great but uh his posing was good enough to bring him out of the pack it showed off his strengths and flaws so that should land paul tomasi jr in second place raymond in first i got chris wells in third he's just too big to get beat by a joe myers or foon uh although it's foon's uh it's his last year he's a veteran I think he's going to end up in fourth place. I'm pretty sure the rock star's posing wasn't the greatest, especially from the side. Uh, but it could go either way between fourth and fifth place there. It might not be unanimous, but I got the rock star in fifth place. How'd you land those two in the end? Exactly the way you said it. Yeah. I, I think you got a pretty good handle on this on these top five here. Yeah. <laughs> but but actually, all five of them are real. They all had their own strength, so it was it was a really good show. Yeah, well, be sure to check the video out. I got the video footage. It'll be on uh, YouTube for you guys right on the same channel here, so be sure to check it out. And uh, in two weeks, I'll be at the Minnesota show in Bloomington, Minnesota, the IFA North American. Uh, Paul, what are your plans this year for yourself? Uh, I'm, I'm getting ready for, I'm not really sure. I'm definitely going to do something in the fall. I yeah. might do something like towards the end of summer. I'm not quite um, positive yet. I don't know. I might even do a P, um, PNBA. I don't know. Yeah. I might uh, mix it up a little bit, but I'm, my off season was really good this year. Yeah. I, I, I came off the Yorton Cup feeling good, and I just, from there, I just uh, kind of ate up nice and 
I've been at it ever since. So. Well, you said PNBA. What I'm excited about is the uh, PNBA Natural Universe coming to Chicago on August 30th. Is that a show that's on your radar, or are you thinking some other PNBA event? It's possible. It's on your radar. It's possible. I think that'd be fitting to have Paul A. Tomasi at the Natural Universe. There's going to be a lot of good pros there, and, uh, man, that was a great show last year. It's going to be even better this year. It's going to be live streamed and commentated. I'm commentating that show. I, it'd be nice that it's in my hometown, so it'd be cool to see you there, man. I would love to do it. Uh, do you do uh, Paul Jr.'s uh, prep for him, or does he do it himself? Actually, uh, Paul and Dan both um, pretty much do their own, but this year they uh, consulted with me, so I helped them out with their diets. They kind of adjusted themselves off the diets that I made for them. So we would meet every, like, three or four weeks. I would make them new diets. They would adjust themselves accordingly from week to week. So um, he consulted me with his peak, so I helped him out with his peak, and he... he his peak, just, he just came out really, oh, really yeah. perfect today. So, um, so I'm really happy that they, you know, they know what they, they they've been in, around this ever since they were little, and they prep people too. But um, I was happy to help them out. So, yeah. well, I was happy to be here. I didn't. Uh Two weeks ago, I had no idea I was going to be here, but the uh, original MC backed out and tore his quad or something, so Brenda Ray called me to come MC the show, right. and I asked her for a roster of all the pros. I seen Paul A. Tomasi Jr.'s name on the list. I'm like, cool, I finally get to see Paul compete. So I've heard of him all through, ever since I've been covering the sport, but never got to see him compete in person, so it's cool to see him on stage, and he's going to do well tonight too. And, uh, yeah, good luck for that to happen. You're going to enjoy his uh, routine tonight. Yeah, so I can't wait. So if you enjoy this posing now, you're going to really love it tonight. Excellent. So. We'll look for the videos on YouTube. Until next time, bodybuilding figure bikini fans, you got Pilate Tomasi. I'm Mike Newman. You're watching Inside Natural Bodybuilding. That's your wrap up here at the IFPA Natural American. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Mike.